I aged 20 years one night in Chicago. I'll just tell you. <laughs> hey, listen, real quick. What we like to do here, it's important to us that work here that your generation understands what Dr. King means to your life right now. And the best way I can illustrate that to you is to tell you that every time you go to McDonald's, every time you go on Burger King, every time you go to one of them fast food places, I'm sorry, you sit in the, you go to the cash register, pay for your food, sit in the restaurant, eat your food. It's because of Dr. King. Because there was a time when folks that looked like us couldn't do that. Every time you get on a bus, sit on the bus where you want to sit, it's because of Dr. King. Ladies, let me ask you something. Do you know who W.E.B. Du Bois was? Yes. Okay. Well, did you know that W.E.B. Du Bois wrote many books, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I happen to read one of them. And in the book I read, W.E.B. Du Bois said, and I want you to hear me now, from the year 1866 to the year 1955, 90-plus years, there was, on average, 50 black men lynched. Y'all know what I mean when I say lynched? Yeah. There was, on average, 50 black men lynched every day. One more time. For 90-plus years, they were lynching, on average, 50 black men a day. Now, W.E.B. Du Bois also said that there were hundreds of people disappearing every day that nobody knows what happened to them. Now, what's important for us to know is that in the face of that hatred, in the face of that violence, Dr. King never picked up a gun. He never advocated hurting anybody that wanted to hurt him. He used prayer instead of violence. Now, the lesson for us is that we can't meet violence with violence. You can't meet hatred with hatred. It just grows. It feeds off itself. And listen, when you turn on the news today, you see people all over the world trying to change it, right? Am I right? Right. And what are they doing? They're using guns, they're using bombs, and they're using misery. And what we see happening is these problems are just escalating. Guns don't solve problems. They just create bigger problems. So the message that we want to get out to all of y'all, please, go home, tell your friends. This ain't cool. I went to a prison about two months ago and met a young man that's 19 years old. Now, this is deep. This kid is 19 years old, never drove a car. They sentenced him to life plus 100 years. Ooh, this kid's 19 years old, okay? And they put him in, they sentenced, they gave him that sentence because he shot another kid over a video game. Now, he told me the story, okay? And his story is all too common. And one of the things he said to me that stayed in my mind, he, he asked me to make him face. He tell all the other kids that I need his story so that it don't happen to him. And what he said was that his friend gassed him up to go handle his business. This is exactly what he said. He said they told him to go handle his business. So he goes and shoots a kid over a video game. And he said the second that he did it, he regrets it. But you see, once it's done, it's too late. It's too late. You can't unring the bell. It's just too late. So y'all, please, please, go home. Chicago's a rough city. Okay, I went to boot camp in Great Lakes, Illinois. Okay, Chicago's rough. So we need to get this message out. We need to get this message out. We need to make it popular. Okay, we need to make the people that are, at, that are trying to promote violence unpopular. Now, somebody had a question about the crit. Is that right? They're both in there. They're side by side. Yeah. yeah. Dr. King was in there by himself until Miss King passed. Okay, when, when Miss King passed, Dr. King and Miss King were put right here in the garden, and they built a bigger crib. Dr. King was in a crib the size where you see his name right there. That was the size of the original crib. Okay? And then when Miss King passed, we buried him in the garden, they built a bigger crib, put it in place, we put the casket side by side on the other side, and then they craned the top one. Okay? And I can tell you, I was here when that happened. Okay? So every, okay? Anybody got any questions? So y'all gonna learn something today y'all didn't know when you got here? I can't hear you. Yeah. How long y'all been, y'all sleep? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. I feel it. Hey, look, y'all have a good time. Thank